Hey guys, so as you can tell from this video, I have done another Lily Collins tutorial and you're probably getting really sick of it, but I wanted to do this one. I have been obsessed with this look since it came out and I will have a picture here for you somewhere. And yeah, everyone says I look like her, so I was like, I'll just do it. So if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. So starting off, I am just priming my face with the e.l.f. Hydrating Primer. And I'm just rubbing that into my skin pretty much everywhere. And taking my It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream, I just take a beauty blender and I blend it into my face. And I use the shade Light because I have some fake tan on, so it just matches my body. Once that's blended in, I go in with my Born This Way Concealer from Too Faced. And I just put that under my eyes, on my eyelids, on the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and my chin. So once I'm finished blending that in, I go in with my Barry M contour stick and I contour the sides of my jawline, cheekbones, my forehead, my nose, and that is it. And then I just blend that in as well. To set my face I then take my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I put that underneath my eyes, on my nose and kind of around my smile lines on my chin. To contour my face even more I take my Kat Von D shade and light palette and I use the two lighter shades in the palette and I just contour where I put the cream contour. Once I'm finished with the powder contour, I just go in with my NARS Orgasm Blush and I put that on the apples of my cheeks just to give myself a bit of colour because I notice Lily Collins has some there. Then to give me that glow that Lily Collins really has in this photo shoot, I take my Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter in the shade Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal and I put that on the tops of my cheekbones, on my nose, a bit on my forehead and my chin.
Moving on to eyebrows, because that's the most important thing in a Lily Collins makeup tutorial, I take my Anastasia Brow Definer in the shade Dark Brown and first I just kind of comb through my eyebrows, make all the hairs go up and then I just fill them in quite feathery because her eyebrows aren't really that big and bold the way she usually has them in this photo shoot. They're just kind of light and feathery. And to set those caterpillars in place, I use my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Then taking my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, I take the highlighter shade and I just highlight underneath my brow bone and then I take the two light brown shades in the palette and I just kind of shadow my eyelids a little bit, give it a bit of definition. Then taking my Rimmel Magnifies Black Coal Liner, I just line my waterline. Yeah, I lined my waterline just to give it a bit of a more smoky, sultry look. Then I go in with my Essence Princess Lash Mascara and I just coat my eyelashes in that before putting on my false lashes. For falsies, I'm going in with my Coco Lashes in the style Carry, and I just use some duo glue and stick them on. To highlight my inner corners, I just go in with a Makeup Beat Geek um, pigment. I don't know the name of it, but I'll have it in the description. Then I take my MAC lipstick in the shade Blankety and my NYX lip pencil in the shade Nude Beach I think? Maybe that's not what it is. I'll have it down below anyway. So this is the finished look, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, subscribe down below, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and leave me suggestions in the comments below if you want to see any other videos.